Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel as today we're going to be working on the fort. The fort has made it through the entire winter, but as you can tell, uh, it needs a little bit of work done to it. First of all, the section in here, these sticks have kind of moved themselves towards the center more. So there's less space, obviously need to fix the roof. And then over here, as you can see, since the sticks are starting to settle and push themselves down, we're kind of losing the sticks on the wall. So now there's just a giant open space right here. And then on the inside, yeah, there's water on the inside. And then there's one more thing that I wanna do to just make it better. Instead of just fixing the fort, we might as well fix it and then make it better. So we have these old pieces of, I don't know, decking or something. And the plan for that is to take some of these, bring it over to the fort and set it here and then over in here there's a little bedding area and then eventually put it down there when the water's gone to make some flooring hopefully it can make it nicer make it cleaner we can try to fix this wall get it nice and enclosed but that's the plan for today's video hopefully we can get all that done today anyways i'm gonna quit yapping and let's just get straight into the restoration slash remodeling So I think we're gonna start. All right. So I think we're gonna start with this area, uh, mainly because if we want to put the flooring in, this stuff has got to move forward. Roof's got to be finished, and we got to make this room as big as it once was when I first built it. So uh, we're gonna start with this, and hopefully this won't take too long. But let's start. I feel like the entrance is huge for no reason. All right. Let's finish. Let's fix this this roof. I'm honestly so surprised that this roof has held because I don't know if you can see the stick that's holding that up. It's this one right here and it's kind of just in the ground. It's not the thickest stick and it's holding this entire roof up. I think it's pretty, it's pretty wide still, but I think we're going to add a little more sticks in this section right here just so we can kind of make this opening area a little smaller. So if this is where I'm sleeping, I kind of want it to be a little closed off. All right, um, I don't know how good I'm gonna get this. So I think we're gonna call it, you know, good airflow right here. All right, I think since we're kind of done with this wall, this area is all fixed. We're gonna go ahead and put the floor down in here. All right, let's see. So I didn't think about this one, but I think we should probably go longer because we can kind of slide it under. We can kind of go like this. And then we can kind of slide it under those branches over there. Thank you. All right, all right, that might be as good as we're gonna get that piece. I think four is gonna be wide enough. Let's see, it's a little short. Yeah, this is the longest section. I think we might need to save these short ones. These are the longest ones in this section. Oh, perfect. All right, this one's gonna have to get pushed pretty far that way. This one's gonna go to the edge. And then we're gonna put this really long one in last. Well, we might need one more thing of short ones. First floor completed. Oh, this is nice though. Like actually, this might've been a good, good move. All right, so I think what we're gonna do next is instead of building this wall back up right here and then going inside and laying the flooring, I think while we have this big gap right here, it would be easier for me to kind of put these pieces and kind of feed them through the hole. For the part that does have water, I think we should be good to kind of fill it up with these boards that are right here. They're not the nice ones. We can put those down there. So then if it does fill up, it'll just seep below a couple layers of those things. So then it doesn't actually go on to the flooring. At least that is what I think it'll do. We can take these wide boards here, I'm just coming up with ideas on the fly. This is how I don't have a plan. We're gonna take these boards that are right here 
I think we're gonna take one of them and put it right here, kind of close it off. And I think we can fit another one because there's four. We can fit another one right here, which will also close that area off. We can set the last one right here and that will be the door for the fort. So without further ado, let's work on that. All right, we're gonna start with these big boards. Ugh. Yeah, so this will go right over here. Kind of sit there and it'll go right here. So I think we'll do one there, one on the other side, and then one in the middle, maybe two. We might do two. So yeah, we can go like this. Door perfectly fits. We got a little air gaps, but I don't know, it's way more covered. Now we can get in there. I think we're gonna start by filling it up in there. So we'll do that first. Okay. Bam. One more on that side. Hey. All right, let's grab a couple of these. All right, we'll just kind of toss these in first and then we'll make them look nice and neat. So far it's working how I want it to. It's kind of keeping you in your spot. I think we'll do this. This one will go like this. Put this piece right here. All right, I think this, this flooring is gonna be a little about done. I think now we just have this section right here and that'll be it for flooring. This. Boom. All right, let's start at the edge here. Start like here maybe. Originally, I was gonna have this be the sleeping quarters, but I think we're gonna turn it into kind of like the kitchen. Push this over. Then we can fit this one sideways, I think, like this. Looks pretty dang good. Put some cushions here, get a nice seating area. I think this might be the most, like the best one here. It's looking nice on the interior. All right, now we gotta work on this because don't really want a sunroom in the main room. It's different when you have windows, but things coming along. I think this will be the kitchen slash like sitting eating area because it's pretty big. It's about like five feet wide. So, you could be able to like, you can get like two people to sit down and then you can have kind of like your dishes and stuff over on this side. And then at your feet, you kind of, you're going to be able to, you know, have a comfortable place for your feet. Maybe you can even go no shoes. I don't know. Looks good. I think we're going to see what we have for pieces right there. I might be able to fit a couple that kind of go at an angle. So we can kind of like close that spot off. But otherwise this part's probably the best part so far. Cause you can kind of see that it fills up the entire space. Like the whole thing. Over there is pretty good too. But this thing's coming along. If only I could get it going up the side. But I think it would just fall down too much. To where there's no point in having it like that. But let's go work on this now. It's the last part of the fort. All right, now this part will probably take the longest. So we're just gonna start stacking, stacking. It is time for the tour. Starting at the entrance, we have the doors and I added a couple pieces that go here and on this wall kind of to close it up because it's kind of hard to fit sticks right here. Now, if you come with me and you follow me into the interior, I'll bring you along. So first, the first thing you see is the first flooring, which is very nice, very spacious in here. But this place is pretty big, but this is the front entrance. This is also the sleeping area. But if you go ahead and you get inside and you look into the main part.
you can see there's a little I added a couple more here then the flooring you got a section there and then you got a section over there now if you scooch on in here so you step into the main area right here this is it used to kind of drop off with leaves and stuff but I added a little section here where when you're scooting in you can kind of sit then immediately step onto the flooring. This is like the kitchen slash eating area. This is where you'll go ahead, you'll sit down on it. There's a little bit of opening. It's hard to get everything for the interior. It's hard to kind of fill in all these cracks. But the main part I wanted was for the sleeping area over there to basically be fully blocked off from the world. When you're sitting here right next to you, you have a shelf that I added right next to the seating area. This is the kitchen. This is another part that you can cook. Maybe you can put a stove right there. Under it, there's a little bit of space. There's about a foot by like three feet that you can shove stuff under. Got to take this small area and kind of make use out of every single square foot of this thing. You got this part over here. This is also storage. Uh, I might come flatten it out at some point to kind of give it more of a area for you to actually fit stuff but that's basically the full interior you can kind of see i'm sitting in this area pretty comfortably um i still have another like foot of clearance so you can comfortably sit in this place at some point we could add some cushions to this spot right here kind of turn it into a seating spot i'm hoping this can be the table slash seating couch slash bed if you really wanted to you could sleep on it. You might have to have your knees up. But yeah, that's the first sleeping spot. And then over here, obviously, it's like, it's like, ah, uh, I don't know, like six feet long, especially because I added this thing. This part adds another half a foot. But basically, this place is a, you technically could fit and sleep three people if you really wanted to. But that basically concludes the interior of the fort. But anyways, that concludes today's video. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.